assalamu alaikum i am dr shamim kaufer and i am consultant critical care and general physician working as in charge section medical icu medical unit 4 jinnah post graduate and medical center karachi pakistan this video is the part 2 of edit decoded series if you want to watch the first video which was based on an overview of edit 1 exam and guide of preparation of the edit 1 you can click on the link This video guide is based on a guide of preparation of edit two examination. So the useful websites for the preparation of this exam are more or less the same as I have mentioned in preparation of edit one. But as edit two is an OSCE part of the exam, try to cover the same ACE module with perspective of application of the knowledge. A strong grip on ACE module would be highly recommended. and especially this would be very helpful for the ccs exam exam preparation course of the european society of intensive care medicine is also helpful in understanding the expectation of the examiner this course would also include certain presentation like on the biochemistry on abc interpretation and approach on the sodium disorder i would suggest to watch those presentation but make a scheme to approach such scenarios as per your practice So let's move forward to know how to nail this exam. The first day of exam are usually the day of the computer-based scenario. This is the toughest part of the exam due to limited time. There will be three stations of CBS. The first one are usually curves. In my exam, there were eight questions and twelve minutes. The next one was the radiology. Uh, which contained 10 question in 10 minutes and the biochemistry one was having eight question and we have to answer that in 12 minutes there was 3 to 4 minutes break between each station since the time pressure makes the cbs the toughest part of the exam the more and the more practice can help you to go through this step successfully in each exam two to three questions are for the quality check and they are very very tough so if you you are encountering any of the one don't lose the confidence and just keep going with other scenarios in a nutshell what is expected with an examinee is to recognize the pattern if you think aloud in english you might get some marks of the thought process as well and the examiner would know the possibility that he would be able to give correct answer or not and they would be able to allocate you the time to answer each questions accordingly try to answer straight on point generally there is no marking of describing normal things be it ecg or any other curve radiology or any abnormal lab value If you find any question extremely difficult to answer, I would suggest to skip that and try to answer other questions first. You can come back to any question if you have time at the end. These top three books to prepare for OSCE are highly recommended. The first one, that is OSCE for the final FFICM, is a book with three one eight pages, and it has segment of data interpretation, which is extremely helpful. one read of the section of ethics and communication would be sufficient for those who are already aware of the laws of the uk practice the second book that is data interpretation in critical care medicine is just a 76 pages book and it is uh, studied with lots of information and useful material to prepare the exam and it is highly recommended the third one that is oski for the icm is a 361 page book and it has eight complete uh, sets of the oski station and these all three books are highly recommended for the oski preparation i have gone through with all these books many many times for the ecg part of the cbs curve the book of ecgs for the emergency physician is very helpful it has 200 question if 100 questions are done before exam for those who are already practicing the critical care medicine and looking at the ecg on daily basis would be normally sufficient the normal question which are asked in the exam are the heart blocks arrhythmias electrolyte abnormalities pacemaker rhythms ischemia and medication overdose for ventilator graphics 
day to day practice of vent screen and discussion with your icu fellows is the most important thing to do however the books of mechanical ventilation using ventilator waveform also contains very interesting scalars and the loops but bear in mind that it does not carry any associated vignette before the scalar and the loop and the expectation of the exam is usually very tough the other book which can be helpful is the ventilator graphics the level of difficulty of the question which are given in the exam is much higher than present in these books however the favorite topics which usually given in the exam are the auto peep problems of trigger and cycling leak problem with air flow peak and the plateau pressure and the artifacts the other curves which can be asked in the exam are the tag or the rotum capnograph spirometry loops and the icp tracing which mostly includes the auto regulation and the lundberg waves they can ask you scenario based on the ecmo and the CR crrt uh, graphics and the pressure curves so to have a strong grip on that the ace module based on the ecls and aki are very helpful they can ask you troubleshooting with pressure changes and oxygenation in ecmo scenario and pressure curve for tmp and excess pressure and return pressure in the crrt scenario moreover they can ask you about the iavp curves the question which are usually asked in the exam are the early or late inflation early or late deflation the cvp curves they can ask you about the tricuspid regurgitation curves cardiac tamponade in my exam i got both of them the arterial and curves which would include the over and under dampen pico and liquid co screens and the pack curves lots of material is available on the youtube and in the website of life in the fast lane to to prepare for the curve station for the second cbs station that is radiology please bear in your mind that this is not a radiology exam the expectation of the station is to evaluate and examine whether he can diagnose any pathology on the radiology which requires an urgent intervention the best book to practice the cases are radiology for the anesthesia and intensive care the best way to practice this station is the daily discussion of important radiological findings of your patient with your radiologist colleague a leading vignette with an image is usually given try to think about the expected finding by reading the vignette first before coming to the image in some of the vignette the examiner won't give you any hint so the only thing which you will help would be the image the best way to answer is to come straight to the positive finding you don't have to describe the image beware that in a single station they can ask about totally two different and irrelevant finding like in my case i got a x-ray of the chest where there was a faulty right subclavian cvp line with associated right pneumothorax but by looking at image carefully i found that there was an ivc filter placed in the radiology section they would cover the images of the echo which might include ivc right or left heart failure pericardial effusion with or without cardiac tamponade in the pocus they usually give the right and the left mixed axillary line images which might include pleural effusion consolidation perisplenic hematomas fluid in the moissan sulcus in a patient with trauma or they can give you pyelonephritis pneumothorax pleural line lung sliding free fluid in the abdomen in the x-rays they specifically ask for the devices and the catheter however fractures pneumothorax effusion collapse consolidation ivc filters ileus and pneumoperitoneum are usually kept and asked in the exam in ct images of the chest and the abdomen they can ask you about the solid organ injuries in a patient with polytrauma lung contusions pneumothorax emphysema aortic aneurysm pulmonary embolism dilatic rv or lv devices and the fracture 
free air and the fuel under the diaphragm intestine and obstruction splenic and liver laceration and hematomas pyelonephritis pancreatitis and sometimes necrotizing fasciitis in the ct brain they can ask you about the sth edh subarachnoid hematomas contusion signs of raised intracranial pressure hydrocephalus atrophy ischemic stroke swls and post craniotomy especially the evds since this is a exam of the critical care so anything which is practiced in the critical care very frequently can be asked so be ready for the bronchoscopic images mri brain and the spine simple images angiogram transcranial doppler and mrcp images in my exam they were given uh, a one station of the transcranial doppler so the third station of the cbs that is biochemistry is the one with maximum time pressure as the data they give is very extensive and it might include certain calculation as in cases of the abgs the calculator will not be allowed so try to practice the mental math although they have already highlighted the abnormal values so the biochemistry station would consist of either an abg based scenario or any other biochemical abnormal scenario for abg you should have an idea for all approaches like boston and stewart approach but practice the one with which you are most comfortable if you look at the division of time candidate have 90 seconds to answer but less will be given to save some time at the end so that if the candidate would like to look back at to any scenario here is the list of some very interesting and common scenario asked in the abg cases these are lactate gap d lactic acidosis drug induced lactic acidosis alcoholic ketoacidosis hyperchloremic acidosis positive stronger indifference and the smaller gap so the other cbs biochemistry scenario would include vignette which would be very lengthy they can give you abnormal values along with any image like that of peripheral smear they can ask you about diagnosis and further management and sometime further investigation to confirm the diagnosis the other topics which can be asked in the biochemistry scenario are the ttp or the hus coagulopathy electrolyte abnormalities disorder of sodium especially in the neurological critical patient tls refeeding syndrome rhabdomyolysis endocrine emergency especially a dysonian crisis and thyroid emergencies derain liver function test with a leading vignette so the day 1 of edit to exam will be a 1 hour exam the day 2 of edit to exam will be a clinical case scenario this part of the exam is easier than cbs for preparation of the most important aspect is your day to day practice and discussion with multidisciplinary consultant also the variety of exposure of all types of critical patient is important to perform the best in this part the best study material are again the ace module these are some other helpful books the viva and structured oral examination is not a case based book but it covers either the other aspect like theoretic theoretical aspect of the cases of the icu it has blocks of key point which can be read the final fficm structured oral examination study guide is a ff fficm style guide book but it can give you an idea about anticipated question on any case scenario 100 cases in emergency medicine and critical care is another case based book but please bear in your mind that the level of difficulty of exam cases is much higher than given in this books as my primary speciality is internal medicine so i just give a single read to all these books and thoroughly studied where i needed to study These are two more popular books to prepare for the exam. This is especially helpful for those who are coming from the subspecialty of the medicine 
or surgery as a primary specialty before critical care medicine. I covered only few parts of this book, but this is very good for those who are coming for the surgery or any anesthesia background or any subspecialty. CCS station would cover four cases, two from short cases and two from long cases. Each long case is a single station, while two short cases will collectively form a single station. The long cases are a 25 minute exam. They would provide you 5 to 7 minute time to prepare for the first vignette. They are not going to, to allow you any further time to prepare for the upcoming vignette. This whole exam would consist of 4 to 5 evolving vignettes with further sets of 4 to 5 questions. Each evolving case would cover almost 3 to 5 major domains of the critical care medicine. The two short cases based scenario would be given 5 minutes time to prepare for the first vignette. The one case would consist of 12.5 minutes and 2 to 3 evolving vignette would further follow the main vignette. There is no clear demarcation that which case is that of medicine or which case is that of surgery. Any case can involve or evolve any domain. So any medicine case would, would have chance to turn into a surgical case and related complication or any surgical case might be evolving into complicated medical case. So the best way to prepare and the answer the CCS station is to prepare a summary of the case of the leading vignette which always should include all the multi organ dysfunctions. The examiner can further ask you about any reasons of any organ dysfunction. Normally the organ dysfunction are multifactorial in the cases given. They might ask you for immediate next step, could be a management or investigation. The examiner can ask you some open questions like what is the most important next step or what is happening with your patient. So in many of the problems of your patient, you have to highlight the most important aspect which has to be addressed immediately. This might include anything related to the problem during transfer or any related complication during intubation. As far as evidence they ask you about your management step, you have to mention all landmark trials only. The trials mentioned in the ACE module are usually sufficient. You need to know the highlights and conclusion of the trial, but not the detail in depth. To clear the edit to exam, a candidate has to pass two stations from each station of CBS and the CCS. But I would highly recommend that all the stations and all the parts of the exam should be prepared thoroughly to nail it confidently. I did the same in my exam and I cleared all the stations of the CBS and the CCS in first attempt. I hope this video guide will, will help you to appear and prepare and pass the edit exam. For any query, you can always email me on my given email address. Thank you so much and good luck for your exam.